Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. The veteran actress Vivica Fox is still open to being with her ex 50 Cent. She has been very vocal that 50 is the love of her life. He was absolutely the love of my life and I have no problem admitting that. Would you get back together with him? Uh, we would start as friends. We could start as friends and who knows? Never say never. No. He was the love of my life, I will admit that without any reservations. Um, he will always have a very special place in my heart. And, and I remember Curtis, like, he was in love with you, girl. Would you ever think about getting back together with Mr. Curtis Jackson if he came and said, well, Ben and Jen did it again, why not? So Vivica is still holding out hope for 50 Cent. She don't really care. She wants her J-Lo and Ben Affleck moment. She wants her Ashanti and Nelly moment. She wants to spin the block. Now, when Vivica admitted on the Sherry Shepard show that she is open to being back with 50, Nick Cannon <laughs> made jokes about it on his podcast, The Daily Cannon Show. Vivica Fox reveals that she yeah. wants to date 50 Cent again. She and she's going to have to go. fight me for him. let that go. You can, like, fantasize about Fifth from 15 years ago. That's a different Fifth than this fat guy that's walking around now. <laughs> He is fat. That's you, true, he looks like he got a pack of hot dogs on the back of his neck. I like a little layer of pudge. 50 sounds chocolatey. He cute. You looking at the pictures from uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. Now, I like thick. Now thick. it's Get Thick or Die Frying. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nick was being petty, but I think the reason why Nick was being petty is because 50 Cent actually came for him first. Did you call Eminem and tell Eminem don't go back in Nick Cannon? Did y'all have a conversation? I did, I did. What was that conversation like? I was like, yo, ain't nothing there. Fish. I would never respond to Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> never. Listen, look. Now, look, look. The, the camera's on, right? He's yeah. legendary corny. He's been corny forever, like forever. The only thing that makes him look corny is his rapping. Yeah, I don't know why he's so passionate about it. Like, like he's just, <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> bro, look. You suck, bro. So I think this interview is the reason why Nick was going in on 50. But when Nick went in on 50, Vivica Fox went into the comment section on the Hollywood Unlocks page and she went off on Nick in defense of 50 Cent. She said, yo, let me correct myself. Yo, Nick, I'd rather be with 50 Cent any day than your community D self. Now go somewhere and pay your child support. Hashtag clout chaser. I find it funny that Vivica went harder at Nick than 50 Cent did because 50 didn't really clap back like that. He gave a very tame, indirect response. So I thought that was very interesting. But Vivica Fox still loves her some 50 Cent. Now it could be that she's kind of sucking up to him so she might get a role in one of his shows. Who knows, they might have even talked about it already but she still holds 50 Cent near and dear to her heart, clearly. Now, I think the reason why Vivica holds 50 Cent so dear in her heart is because he probably was her best relationship because Vivica hasn't had a lot of success in her love life. I mean, she has experienced love, but she hasn't had a lasting romance. So she still holds on to this romance that she had with 50 from 20 years ago. Is it obsessive? Maybe, maybe it is. But also I think that Vivica is a hopeless romantic. And I think she just liked the idea of being with somebody like a 50 Cent. Somebody who was tough, but also soft and romantic. Somebody who had money and power. I think she was attracted to those things, but ultimately she didn't really gel well with 50 Cent. And it is kind of embarrassing how much Vivica has expressed how much she adores 50 and how much he was the love of her life, but 50 Cent has never returned those sentiments, at least not publicly. In fact, he has disrespected her and humiliated her more than he has ever praised her publicly. So to me, I think Vivica has given 50 a bit too much power by saying that she loves him because he could turn around and use that against her. In fact, he has used that against her multiple times. And also her saying that is an ego boost for him. He admitted that he's not bothered by it. And I think he likes the fact that she's still the one kind of pining after him. Vivica Fox, she said that you are still the love of her life. Do you have a response to that? Well, no, I don't, I think, I don't get, I'm not, never bothered by when she says that. 
50 isn't bothered by it because that's a boost to his ego. He's cool with Vivica, but he doesn't look at her that way, at least not anymore. He's currently in a relationship with the model Cuban Link, so he has moved on. And I know Vivica professing her love for 50 has been awkward for Cuban Link as well. In fact, Cuban wasn't really amused by it and she threw shade at Vivica, but Vivica was like, girl, I'm not trying to break your relationship up. I'm happy for y'all, so just calm down. He now has a, a, a girlfriend that's beautiful, that's, that's hot, and I'm happy for him. I hope he puts a ring on her finger and they live happily ever after. Vivica says that she's happy for Cuban and 50's relationship, but that still doesn't change the fact that she's still not opposed to getting back with 50 in the future. I think 50 Cent really put it down and he definitely gave her some of the best love that she's probably received in a relationship. And it's kind of unfortunate that that's the case, but it is true because like I said, Vivica hasn't had a lot of luck with her love life. Her other relationships that we know of haven't really been like that. In fact, she was married to a man named Christopher Harvest who used to be an artist on Death Row Records and it wasn't the best experience, but she felt pressured to marry him because everybody else around her was getting married and she wanted to have a fairy tale wedding and she didn't really know him that well when she got married to him and also she got tired of paying for everything because he wasn't really making money he didn't go out and then try to pursue things with the same drive that i had for my career and you know a woman doesn't like paying all the bills all the time mm. and i can only ask for help so many times before I had to, to come to the conclusion that um, I didn't want to be the breadwinner in this family. My mother didn't raise me to take care of a man. Vivica ended up divorcing Christopher Harvest in 2002. She also was engaged to another man in 2011 named Omar Slim. People were very shocked at the age difference because Vivica was 46 and Omar was 27 at the time. But Vivica wanted to settle down and have a family. She really wanted to have a child. So she kind of felt pressure to be in the relationship even though she wasn't really happy. It was just that it just wasn't right. And I had to be honest with myself. I wasn't happy anymore. He's a great guy, but he just wasn't for me. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to have a child. Vivica and Omar broke off their engagement and Omar did reveal to 2fab.com that the relationship was full of drama and he had to walk away. Vivica Fox's relationship with 50 Cent was also a fail, but it was a relationship that Vivica would never forget because it was a whirlwind romance and it was also a high profile relationship. Now, how did Vivica and 50 meet? Well, they first met back in 2003 after 50 Cent flirted with her at the BET Awards. You know, I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress too. Vivica was smitten when 50 Cent did that. And after that, they got in contact with each other and they started dating for some months. Their romance was short lived, but man, a lot happened around this time because at this time, 50 Cent was actually the hottest rapper in the industry. He just finished dropping his album, Get Rich or Die Trying, which went on to sell 12 million records worldwide. Also, Vivica Fox was doing great in her acting career. At this point, she already acted in major films like Independence Day, Set It Off, Soul Food, Two Could Play That Game, Kill Bill, and the list goes on. So it was a very high profile relationship and Vivica was in complete bliss. She describes 50 as being very romantic and very generous. But for my birthday, he flooded, filled my entire house with my favorite flowers, which were Casablancas and gardenias. He's very romantic yeah. and he's got, he's like a big teddy bear. Yeah. And see, I know that side of him and he's yes. very sweet and very kind and gives the best hugs. Now let's talk about, he's 10 years younger than you are. 11. 11 years younger than yes. you are. And you've said that energizes you. Yeah, definitely makes me happy. Keeps a pep in my step for sure. <laughs> The relationship between 50 Cent and Vivica got so serious to the point that 50 almost proposed to her. 
I was very much in love with him. Was he in love with you? Very much. I mean, I think that the reason why it's haunted me for such a long time is here, I found out later that he wanted to propose to me. So that's why. Right. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, that's he was going to have a theater because I was excluded in the international tour of Kill Bill. So he wanted to rent a movie theater. And see, that moment right there. Aww. That's how I felt when I found out, too. That's cute. Yeah, so that's why for so long, I think it's haunted me that I always felt like, Gosh, if I could have just done better, I didn't know. You said at one point he was going to propose and he yes. had a, a 14 carat ring? 12. 12. Yes. Still a crazy ring. Yeah. What is that? But he's 50 cent. $2 million ring or something like that? Something like I that? I don't know. But he got mad at me and turned it into a pair of earrings. <laughs> is it true that you turned the 12 carat ring into a pair of earrings? Yeah. <laughs> 50 Cent and Vivica's relationship did get sour after a while because there was too much fanfare and publicity surrounding their relationship. Also, the age gap between them did play a huge part. 50 Cent was 11 years younger than Vivica. He was 27 and Vivica was 38. Because Vivica was older, she felt like she had to assert herself more. And that was a turnoff to 50. Also, 50 was a bit immature at times as well. And he didn't even consider to avoid answering invasive questions about their sex life. Oh man, I'm, my love life is great. Is it like the first time though when Vivica gives you the go ahead and says she's gonna get naked in your bed, is it awesome? Yeah, man, it's exciting. Are you able to hold out a long time? No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> is she loud in bed? Like, does she make a lot of noise? Does she make a lot of noise? Nah, she doesn't make a lot of noise. She doesn't. Ultimately, 50 and Vivica's relationship ended because they went public too fast. The relationship started to overshadow 50's tough guy image and his brand, and he didn't like that. So he broke up with Vivica. Crazy enough, he broke up with her on the radio. He was on the radio saying he dumped me. My friend Daryl Brown called me and said, yo, your boy's on the radio blasting you. So he never personally said, it's a wrap. On the radio, huh? Uh, yeah, but he went, on, he went back to being that tough guy. Um, but the reason why the re relationship um, ended was because we just went public way too fast. Had way too many people in our business. Yeah, she wouldn't have had as many people in y'all's business. Right, because when it got it got so uncomfortable with everybody else, like when you get pushed, pushed and pulled in different directions without it being even her decision. Right. Her publicist is saying, do this. This person is, you do this. And it's, it's and you go, okay, all right, all right, this is not the right thing. He, I, when we first started dating, he was young and he was new and it was, and I think that I was at a new part of my yeah. career as well too. And he was just so romantic mm. and, and so kind. He's very old fashioned. And I wish I knew now um, how to treat a man like that mm. than what I knew then. Because mm -hmm. I thought when we were dating younger that he wanted a partner. And mm -hmm. what he really wanted was to take care of me. Mm. And, wow. and, and I didn't know that. So I was working hard trying to match him huh. instead of letting him be the man and take care of me. He's right. very old fashioned. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was the first time that I went public with the relationship that I should have maybe taken the time to get to know him. With 50 uh, cents. Yes, Curtis. Anyway, the relationship uh, didn't work out, but the press lasted a lot longer. It's so ridiculous. No, it wasn't the press. It was him. Oh, it was it. him. He was like, she's exploiting me. She's uh, she's trying to use me for you know to to get publicity, and which was so not true. I was about yeah. to be in a film with you know yeah, Oscar you're very winning famous. You winning don't actors, that. and I've been acting for years. But you know, I just considered that ghetto love. That was his way of dealing with <laughs> the ghetto. <laughs> When 50 and Vivica broke up, 50 became very, very petty. He actually dissed Vivica in his song, Get In My Car, saying, my game F with a girl's brain till she thinks she wifey. Yeah, spent her life savings in a day cause she likes me. Commitment for me, uh, nah, not likely. Went out with Vivica, I thought I was on to something. But in the next week, nah, man, it was nothing, ha ha. So basically 50 was trying to act like Vivica meant nothing to him and the relationship was one-sided. Obviously he was doing this to still keep up with his gangster image, but artists like The Game, who was beefing with him at the time, attacked his relationship with Vivica and his diss song, 300 Bars and Running. Vivica admitted it was tough to hear her name come up in those songs. Trust for me how I felt driving down the street. 
and it would come on the radio. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Or the game, rapping about me. Yeah. And he was his artist at the time. Mm -hmm. That sh was awful to live through. Yeah. It broke my heart, but I still loved him. Years after the breakup, 50 did reach out to Vivica in 2009 and recruited her for his music video, Do You Think About Me? 50 and Vivica's reunion was sweet, but 50 had no interest in getting back with Vivica. I called her. You did? Yeah. That's so sweet. What did you say when you called I her? I said, you gotta stop fighting me and get my video. <laughs> yeah, And yeah. you're friends now? Yeah. Would you ever date her again? Well, the song's about when relationships don't work, she had to deal with Meaning you're not gonna date anymore? Uh... Not anymore, no. <laughs> 50 Cent and Vivica's relationship went sour again in 2015. It all started when 50 took shots at the show Empire, which was the show that Vivica was on at the time. 50 had an issue with the creator of the show, Lee Daniels, because he felt like Lee was copying the marketing strategy that he used for his hit show, Power. So 50 taunted the cast of Empire over their low ratings while promoting his show, Power. And he also reposted this post from Industry on Blast that claimed that the show was losing ratings because of quote unquote too much gay stuff. Vivica was offended because she was a part of the cast of Empire. And when she was asked about 50's comments, she threw shade at him and implied that he was gay. What were your thoughts when 50 Cent blamed the second season ratings dip on gay stuff? First of all, you know, uh, the pot calling the kettle black, black is all I'm saying. S seems like he's got something that's not quite clear. So, absolutely. I just never forget there was a vibe cover with him and Soldier Boy that made me kind of go, hmm. Vivica also took digs at the photo shoot that 50 did with Soldier Boy for Double XL and said he looked like a booty snatcher. No. Yeah, just looked like a booty snatcher on that one today. Oh, wow. <laughs> When 50 heard this, he dragged Vivica for filth. He trolled her viciously. He posted several memes and in his caption, he was going in on her. He said, oh no, now she thinks I'm gay because I let her lick my a-ho, laughing my tail off. Wait, I didn't tell her to, she forced me. My hands were tied. 50 shades of gray. B, remember when you told me F Halle Berry and you could have played all the roles she did better than her? And I just looked at you like, what the F kind of drugs did you take? LMAO. He continued to troll Vivica and he took digs at her plastic surgery and also posted wild memes of her. Vivica still doubled down on her comments and told people.com, I voiced my opinion, but I'm the kind of person where if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. I was just really, really sick and tired of hearing the BS about Empire and especially about the gay storyline. And I'm not gonna take it back because Lee Daniels, Taraji and Terrence Howard are very good friends of mine and they are my co-stars and I'm a stand up kind of babe. So I stood up for them and I don't regret it whatsoever. 50 did not let his pettiness go because the following year in 2016, he took another shot at Vivica. And it got so bad to the point that Taraji P. Henson had to step in and check him. It was just a mess. 50 also went on Watch What Happens Live and addressed the comments that Vivica made about his sexuality. I didn't know, look, I said to myself personally, Andy, I, I really, I said on, on, on Instagram, Instagram I said, oh no, cause I let her lick my ass, she thinks I'm gay. <laughs> Vivica was furious. She went under the Shade Room's post and went off on 50 and also she posted a meme of 50 wearing makeup. And she said, tell you what 50 Cent, since you keep on telling that lie, I challenge you to let's both go on Bravo's, watch what happens live and we could put this to rest. That never happened and you know it queen, but keep on telling them how you like it though. Let me know when you ready cause I am part two. Crazy how you forgot that you paid me to be in your video and went on the radio saying you did wrong by me. Boy, oh boy, when that vault opens up, it's gonna be good. I've got a great memory. After beefing with each other on social media for almost two years, Vivica and 50 set their differences aside. You do an interview and you kind of insinuated that 50 Cent is gay. I was mad at him. Yeah. Yeah. I was, so yeah. I was mad at him. I was mad at him. And he, he found that out later. 
because then the, the whole booty licking thing yeah, came that, about. Yeah, that which was so false. Did yeah, you actually uh, say that about Holly Berry? No. Okay. That one there, he just breaches. So when you when you ran into him at the Knicks game, yes. you were sitting apart from each other, yes. and it's alleged that you were the one who went over to him mm -hmm. and said, um, kind of like... It was time to squash the beef. Right, right. And what was his reaction to you there? He smiled. I think he was happy that I came over. I mean, he knows me. I ain't new to this. I'm true to it. After Vivica and 50 squashed their beef, they worked together again. 50 recruited Vivica for a skit that they did for 50 Central, and it seemed like all was well between them. However, when 50 saw headlines about Vivica writing about their intimate life in her book, Every Day I'm Hustling, he wasn't at all amused. New York Daily News published an article saying that Vivica said that their lovemaking sessions were cherished and special and oftentimes PG-13 rated. She said, most of the times I would be the one initiating sex because I really enjoyed making love with him. 50 did not like the fact that these headlines were circulating. And it was a little funny to see how vexed he was about it, considering that in the past he had no problem speaking on their sex life either. But 50 was put off that Vivica was still talking about their relationship 14 years later. Well, I wanted to talk to y'all because I look in the comments and shit like that. If Vivica Fox shit, you look, and the girls will be like, oh, you must have had some bomb. Oh, you must have been like this, like, look, first of all, not after 14 years. No, not after 14 years. Okay, because if a nigga showed up talking about you had some bomb man pussy after 14 years, 14 years? You be done called the police on I didn't write that, the, the lesson on Curtis to start a feud with him. We have peace. The whole 50 cent thing kind of resurged after that. Right. <laughs> and at first he thought I was insulting him. And yeah. then he found out later that I wasn't. And yeah. he held the book up. And I thought that was cool. Yeah. 50 and Vivica's love-hate relationship still persisted on. In 2020, 50 went viral for making comments about black women, and Vivica Fox was not here for it. This is why they get mad, they get angry. You see a lot of sisters, they go, oh, you fucking, you fucking with this kind of girl or that kind of girl? That shit is exotic. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they get mad, they get angry. How did you end up with this mother or this, that? I'm like, huh? <laughs> for real. And then my instincts always makes me defensive. So I go, look at this angry black motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. Trying to fuck up the whole vibe. When I read that, I was like, really? You would say that. Can't handle a black woman, can you? No, no, no. It was the levels of disrespect. I mean, that, that's what I don't want. You, you, everyone has a preference. I love six pack and smiles. Why they did, but wanna... when he did have it. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, Everyone has their preference, and you're entitled to that. It's just you don't have to be me. 50 responded to Vivica's comments on The Shade Room and said, Vivica's still in love with me. I dated her for four months, 17 years ago, and she's still angry with me. I'm starting to feel like my ish is serious, LOL. Vivica later on admitted that she only said what she said because she was mad at 50. Uh, you, 50 Cent, can't handle a black woman, can you? You ever think you can handle a black one? No, I, once again, I was mad at it. You were mad. You know what I mean? Yeah, when we get mad at each other, we kind of, yeah, we, we say very mean things yeah. to each other. 50 Cent and Vivica also had another spat that was a bit more lighthearted. Vivica starred in a movie called The First Lady of BMF, which was clearly an idea that was inspired by 50 Cent's TV show, BMF. And when 50 caught wind that they were doing a movie, he said, this should say 263, not BMF. What the F is this, man? Vivica, uh, so you're not gonna ever leave me alone, huh? And what the F is Judge Mathis doing in this mix? I'm done, I'm done with you all ends, LOL. Now, when Vivica saw this, she wasn't at all offended because she thought that this was 50's petty way of supporting the movie. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh, somebody who didn't seem happy about the movie was your ex, 50 Cent. Oh 50, 50. Yeah. Uh, he posted about it. Yeah. And, I, you know, I took it as a compliment. I did. Uh -huh. I was like, that was his way of showing support. Thanks, boo. <laughs> The love-hate relationship between 50 and Vivica is so humorous to me. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like they're meant for each other because they're so similar. But them being too similar is also a problem because they could easily bump heads. <laughs> but I do think Vivica and 50 would make a great business team. 
I think 50 needs to include Vivica in some of his future projects. I think that would work out. And considering that they have a history, I think people would tune in as well. But anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.